the word of God has to be final authority. Now, I could spend the rest of the day doing nothing but drilling this in because this is what makes it all work. If you will, if the enemy can get you to back off of this, he will beat you. So you have to get this drilled in to where no matter what, you will not back off what the Word of God says once you decide what it says in context, rightly divided, you cannot back off. Amen? Amen. Now, I'll give you an example of what that means because if you're really going to stand on the Word, there will be times <clears throat> when... It looks like you're stupid, and people are going to say things, and that's when you have the opportunity to move off the word, and this is where our theology generally comes from, is when people move away from the word and give an excuse of why it didn't work, and that excuse becomes a tradition of men, or as we would call it, a sacred cow. And so why? Because we have to come up with a reason. I'll give you an example, like I said, in just a minute. Now, let's, let's look at this. I want to give you the word because I want you to be able to say, devil, it's written. <clears throat> and you can't say it's written if you don't know it's written. Amen? So, <clears throat> first off, the word is our final authority. Our experiences must be judged by Scripture, not Scripture judged by our experiences. And the word of God is forever settled in heaven, but we must settle it on earth. You are the deciding vote. God knows what the truth is. The devil knows what the lie is. You get to decide on which side you're going to stand. 